What's up guys, Christopher Walker here back again with some more activator information. Now activators, for those of you who don't know, activators are things that are gonna bring you toward a good state of health, whereas blockers are the opposite. So I do a lot of videos here on this channel uh, discussing both types of things, you know, certain things you should eat to help you balance your hormones, correct micronutrient deficiencies, those are activators. Blockers would be things that are gonna cause micronutrient deficiencies. They're gonna cause hormonal imbalance, so they should be avoided. Uh, sometimes those can be controversial, uh, but today what we're going to be discussing is actually um, eggs. So I'm going to tell you a bit about kind of the reality of, of different types of eggs out there on the market and the ones that you should be looking for and the ones you should be eating uh, versus other ones that are out there that you should avoid. So stay tuned, let's get into it. So whole eggs, specifically egg yolks, are one of the most nutrient-dense food sources that we actually have in our society today, uh, coming in close second behind organ meats. The yolk itself is literally made to be able to produce life, having all the nutrients available for the development of a little baby chick. Now these nutrients include a whole host of different B vitamins, vitamins A, E, D, choline, which is otherwise known as vitamin J, uh, and everyone's deficient in choline and minerals such as calcium, magnesium, iron, selenium, zinc, copper, potassium, and more. Now, along with these essential vitamins and minerals, the egg has a very diverse set of amino acids that are beneficial for metabolism and fatty acids that contribute to the beneficial effects that it has. So the eggs are a potent source as well of the antioxidants lutein and zeaxanthin. Now, because of that, eggs have been shown to help improve eye health through a couple different mechanisms. Now the first way is by increasing active vitamin A in the body, which when deficient can lead to blindness and a bunch of other detrimental health effects. The second mechanism is by having the antioxidants lutein and zeaxanthin. Now these antioxidants tend to favor the retina and they've been shown in a lot of cases to help protect the retina from free radical damage, which, which can lead to cataracts, age-related decline in eyesight and even blindness. Now, eggs have been shown in a lot of different cases to help raise LDL cholesterol, which is the lipoprotein that transports excess cholesterol in the body back to the liver to be excreted by the body. This type of cholesterol, when it's in the right balance, can be tremendously beneficial to human health. And it has been seen in a lot of studies that for every 1% increase in HDL cholesterol, there's a 3% reduction in mortality. So I don't know about you, but I'm trying to keep that bad boy up rather than su suppress it to deathly low levels that a lot of conventional mainstream uh, health gurus are telling you to do. So eggs are a great source also of vitamin D, which has been shown a lot of different occasions to contribute to better bone health in terms of calcium absorption and uh, contribute to proper homeostasis of protective hormones like testosterone in your body. Eggs are a good source of choline as well, which is a vitamin that basically, like I alluded to earlier, 95% of Americans are deficient in. Choline's been shown in studies to help increase proper functioning and heal the liver, as well as increase athletic performance. It's also shown that when in ample amounts, it can actually be converted into the neurotransmitter acetylcholine and can increase cognitive function, specifically allowing for better focus and memory formation. So let's talk about the difference between uh, free range, you know, good organic eggs and conventional raised eggs. Obviously, I'm a person who likes to eat meat. And because of that, I'm seen by a lot of people to be this heartless savage that doesn't mind taking the life of innocent creatures. But that's not the case at all. I take a look at the way that my food is raised and taken care of. I make sure I obtain my food from humane sources that take care of their animals right up to the day of slaughter. I view eating meat as a part of life. These animals have been put here in order for us to survive off of them. We've evolved as rapidly as we have and have been given the ability to eat these animals for a reason. Conventional eggs are the opposite of what I look for. Chickens are raised in cages, fed horrible inhumane diets, uh, possibly even other chickens, which is it's fucked up, and they're pumped full of antibiotics and hormones to keep them producing eggs year round. The antibiotics are used because the animals are so packed tightly together without the ability to move that they can't actually even stay healthy and they get chronic infections. Now free range eggs on the other hand are different. Chickens are allowed to roam freely on open land and they get to enjoy the sunshine and they're not pumped full of harmful chemicals that get into the eggs and the meat and then back to the consumer. They are healthy and happy up until the day that they're taken to slaughter. Now this different process of raising the eggs can be seen not only by the naked eye of the yolk 
uh, it's a different color, but also by the nutritional composition of the egg as well. Just looking at a free range healthy egg versus a conventional egg, you can tell there's something different going on, mainly because of the yolk. In a free range egg, the yolk is a dark, rich yellow, almost an orange color that is packed with all the good stuff that you want. Conventional eggs have a light yellow, almost partly clear yolk in many cases that makes them look completely void of anything. Free range eggs have been shown to naturally have more vitamin D in them, which makes sense because the chickens that laid those eggs were able to get more uh, by being out in the sun. They also, they've also been shown to have more vitamin E in them, uh, which basically makes the, the omega-3 content in the egg a lot safer for you to consume. This is because vitamin E helps the polyunsaturated fatty acid keep from breaking down into free radicals when you consume it. So make sure you're looking for any kind of food in general that has been taken good care of. I mean, these are things that look for things that are responsibly raised. Now, a lot of people here on the channel are following the Thermo Diet over at thermodiet.com, having great, great benefits. They're in the, the, the uh, Facebook group, just posting like life-changing stuff. It's awesome. So I wanted to make sure that I give a good Thermo tip here about eggs. Now, in order to get the most choline, you want to try and keep the egg yolk runny. Now this allows for less breakdown of the vitamins and minerals in the cooking process. So soft boiling, poaching, or frying up the egg in some grass-fed butter are actually great thermo-friendly ways to cook your eggs. You could even toss a few of them on your thermo bowl and use the yolk as a condiment, almost like a sauce, and it's absolutely delicious. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the video, learned something good from it. Uh, if you want to check out more about the Thermo Diet, go over to thermodiet.com. I made a quiz over there that it's a tool that's going to help you identify. Most people fall into the camps of three different types of body parts that are or organs that are underperforming, and that's the liver, the pituitary, and the thyroid gland. So this quiz, this tool is used to help you identify which body type you are, which of these that you need help with, and then I have a plan that's you know a good 30-day uh, jumpstart basically to help you to eat and you know do things that are going to help you to heal that specific organ so you can get back on the track to uh, a good health so go over there thermodiet.com and i'll see you over there